Barnes Firm to find out what your case could be worth. We will help you get the best result possible. It takes all types to play Family Feud. The Flirty Sister. Name something Steve Harvey might wax. What about that behind? <laughs> the Dancing Dads. <laughs> Family Feud! The Way Too Honest Girl. You just met a guy who's a perfect physical specimen. He's probably what? Stupid. <laughs> See who shows up all season on Family Feud. Weeknights at 6 and 7 on KCAL 9. News right now on KCAL 9 News at 9. Our breaking news at 9. We have just learned two El Monte police officers have died after being shot. We're expecting a press conference any moment now. Also here at 9 o'clock, suspected gas thieves drilling right into your tank. Turn the truck off. A new warning from police after these guys tried to make a getaway. And Constant Street takeovers pushing neighbors to the edge. I'm Rick Monson as live in Compton with the demand for action in front of city leaders. And extreme heat and flooding, the latest on severe weather impacting large parts of the country. But we begin with that breaking news in El Monte where two police officers have been killed. We are waiting for an update from El Monte Police and the LA County Sheriff's Department in this investigation. And that's right, they are speaking at mm -hmm. County USC just moments from, from now where the officers were taken. But we're going to go to our Tom Waite, who is standing by at County USC. Hi, Pat and Jasmine. As you can imagine right now, a very somber scene outside of the hospital right now. As you said, we are awaiting Sheriff Villanueva and the El Monte police chief to come out here and update us on exactly what they know from the scene. I can tell you, and I know, of course, we have Jake Reiner at the scene who will provide more information, but there were two officers who responded to a stabbing call at the hotel when they arrived. Shots were fired. We understand, of course, that is when both of those officers were hit. They were rushed to the hospital. We understand that both of them have passed and they are here at County USC. We're still waiting to find out exactly what happened and how this all unfolded. The sheriff again and the police chief expected to speak just behind me here. There's a small army of sheriff's deputies here and police officers as there are in these situations when something just horrific happens. They are of course awaiting information in mourning themselves. We are also possibly anticipating a uh, procession to take place here it's outside of the hospital. All these details, though, still to come, will, of course, bring you everything as it becomes available. But for now, reporting live outside County USC, just a couple more minutes, they're saying. That probably means a little bit longer, though, in past experience when you have two uh, officers who have been killed in the line of duty. Of course, everybody needs to get on the same page. So reporting live here outside of County USC, I'm Tom Waite. Back to you. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Tom. And as you mentioned, investigators are still on scene in El Monte tonight. They are trying to put together the details about exactly what happened. Of course, and that shooting happened at Garvey and Central in El Monte, right near two motels. Well, KKL 9's Jake Reiner is live with late breaking information right now. Jake. Good evening, Pat and Jazz. This scene is massive. We are at the corner of Central and Garvey. I'll step out of the way so you can take a look. This is what we're looking at right now. All the streets blocked off right now, and we know that the suspect, or at least one of the suspects, is still on scene deceased, according to police. I want to show you some video from earlier and tell you a little bit more about what we know. So just before 5 o'clock, according to El Monte police, they were responding to the report of a stabbing, and when officers arrived, according to police, they received gunfire almost immediately. And they, two officers were hit and taken to the hospital where uh, my colleague Tom Waite is awaiting a press conference there. And the suspect, like I mentioned, died here at the scene. Now we spoke with a uh, witness who was here when the shooting was happening. Take a listen to what he had to say. We heard about five gunshots and I already knew they were gunshots just from the way I grew up around guns. My family works with the police department. And so when I came down this direction, I pulled off because two police interceptors flew by me and immediately an additional set of gunshots. And I saw two police officers get out 
and try to run around their car to get cover and they were you know sliding around the ground and just trying to hide because